I've been very affected by the pandemic in a personal way, not only as a photographer, but I, I'm, a, I'm a human being because I've, I've, been, I've been sick. I've been ill exactly almost one year, day by day. I've been in the hospital in Paris. So to be here now, I'm really happy to be here and it's like, I'm very lucky to be here, really. So the pandemic, but it was just a very personal thought, but it's true, you asked me about the pandemic, so I've been, my life was a disaster because of the pandemic. But as a photographer, what can I say? We couldn't travel, we couldn't, everybody, it's not only as a photographer, everybody was in the difficult complication. People lose people, friends, relatives, family, It changed everything. It's not only it's not only about working. It's just about everything. To be really honest, because yeah, you change. Yeah, after, after what I get through and people get worse, of course, I've been lucky. Let's say I've been lucky. So when you're lucky, you try to enjoy everything and to really appreciate every moment. I like details in a way that sometimes something very abstract can be very poetic. It's really, really small details of, a, for example, a wall and the one we have behind us, some people are working through and they don't see it at all. And I like the way of the, there is a mix of modernity with the electric cable, for example, and in the same time, the antiques in the middle. And I think it works very well with the dialogue here in Salisbury. So the way that Julian's work uh, is a, he, he walks around Rome and he, he really looks for uh, interesting details where contemporary life um, you know, crosses with, with uh, layers of the, the, the urban fabric of, of Rome with, which you know, have thousands of years. And so uh, he comes across small fragments in walls and, and or just you know, beautiful churches that he have wonderful surfaces and that, that, that eye for detail um, you know in our exhibition you know there's also wonderful opportunities to you know look closer uh, look closer into works of art and in, into our objects. Well, I have many highlights in this sale, uh, but there's one uh, that I'm particularly uh, fond of, uh, which is a, a specimen marble uh, tabletop, which displays in a geometric pattern uh, many, many samples of different hardstones and, and, and marbles. And, uh, and although it has sort of a decorative element and people would commission these tables for its decorative element, but uh, also it has a scientific um, very particular approach where every single piece of marble uh, would have a, a story, a scientific name.
the last two editions of the Stone Cell showed a, a, a very global uh, audience for this market. Uh, it has been traditionally more uh, European and American, uh, but now it's really getting to you know all uh, corners of the world. And but it, it's it's a, a niche of the market in the decorative arts that's particularly strong, uh, with many collectors uh, focusing in in collecting um, these type of objects.